Okay guys, so in today's video, we're actually gonna organize and declutter my daycare office, cause it's a hot mess. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Chantal. I'm a daycare owner and a mom to four. In today's video, I'm actually going to walk you through some organization and decluttering. If that's something that interests you, then you may want to stick around until the end of the video where I get to show you the final result. I'm a little embarrassed to show you what we're working with here, but I did want to show you some real life behind the scenes footage so you have an idea of what we're working with. Now, I did buy a uh, desk for my teachers. I also do have a bookshelf that I need to organize with all my arts and crafts. I have my own desk, that's where I prep for weeks and months in advance. So you'll be able to see everything in this video. I would love for you guys to join me. Maybe there's a spot in your house that you need to organize, whether if it's a closet, a pantry, or your home office. This video is for you. I'm hoping you get some sort of inspiration or motivation. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. what I did to make my space a lot more organized and complete. Now I'm gonna walk you through every section. So I really love these. I ended up getting them on Amazon. So this one says, in this room you belong here, you matter, you are worth it, you are important, you are loved, you have a voice, you are valued, you are respected. I feel like that's so important. Now I do have another one here. It says, everyone is welcome here. So I love that it has like the different colored hands and it's just to say that everyone is welcomed. We're not here to judge. We're not, we don't discriminate. Um, so I felt like that was so important to have in my office. There I bought it off of Amazon as well. 
these signs uh, or posters they're actually from Amazon they come in like a five or six pack I can link a double O uh, now over here this is my board so a few of them are flipped over for privacy reasons but um, I do have my gross motor and table time activities my uh, children's weekly schedule I have my kids here from last Christmas as you can see my daughter Callie she's like crying <laughs> I think it's adorable. I think it's funny, but uh, yeah, so here I have um, I do purchase my curriculum from Clubhouse Kids on TPT if you're looking to uh, get a curriculum for your infants and toddlers I highly recommend her. She's amazing uh, All my kids uh, are engaged whenever they do an activity and um, They're constantly learning so check it out you can check her out on TPT. I do have an Alexa. We cannot function without this Alexa because we do have a ring doorbell outside. And um, you know, we just saw Alexa show us the front door and she shows us the front door. It's great to have. I highly recommend having one of these at home, um, especially for like security and for like safety. Uh, I like to know who's at the door, who's knocking, what parent is coming for pickup and drop offs. So this helps us, we can keep it on live view so we can keep track of what parents are coming and get the kids dressed before mom and dad come to the door. So it's a great way to be like prepared and um, also for safety. Now up there you're gonna see uh, storage bins. Now you're probably wondering like how did I label these storage bins? So what I did was I labeled them with my Cricut Maker. So if you have a Cricut Maker at home, like I highly recommend using it. Um, if you don't, you can always go to like Dollar Tree and they have like the stickers that you can like um, stick on your bins and customize them. So if you don't have a Cricut Maker, don't stress about it. Like you can go to Dollar Tree and get them. Uh, so I have spring and summer like decoration, fall supplies, winter supplies, party supplies. Like I love like decorating for parties, like their birthday parties. So that's something I do. I get cupcakes for the kids and then I give, I give them a gift on their birthday. So that's where I keep all my party supplies. So I put it up there because it's stuff that we don't really use on a daily basis. Now over here you're going to see I have like flashcards, word puzzles for like the older kids, eyeballs for arts and crafts, some chalk, scissors, like safety scissors for the kids when we're doing crafts crayons I do have some glue guns and glue sticks uh, popsicle sticks for crafts and felt now over here you're gonna see my first aid kit some tools some batteries I also have like the community workers here I didn't have anywhere to put them so I just put them there they're so cute I ended up getting that from like daycare that closed down and uh, so I bring it out when we whenever we have that theme now down below here you're gonna see that I have my magnet tiles, I have magnetic letters, mega letters, waffle blocks, Play-Doh and Play-Doh tools. This is something that the teachers can just pull out. It's so easy, um, like after nap time, like during table time, they can just grab that and they can be entertained for like 15, 20 minutes. And the kids absolutely love it. So every day is so different. So they have options. Now over here we have our, um, I believe I bought these on Amazon. You can buy these on Amazon. I'll link them down below. But um, it's great for like Play-Doh. You know, they can make sausage, hamburgers, and I uh, pretend like they're putting it on the on the grill here. It's great for like fine motor. Also, these here are like for the magnetic letters and animals and, and vehicles that they can use during table time. I have my employee policy handbook and my daycare weekly checklist here that the teachers can uh, go into. Um, here I have all the construction paper organized by color. So for example, if we are uh, doing an activity with um, bears, I can pull out like 10 of these instead of going through every single color just to get, just to get like 10 um brown construction paper so it's all ready to go and it's easy to access so if you have a daycare i highly recommend doing honestly if anyone else wants to do this like you're more than welcome to it's a great way to keep organized okay right here we have our 
puzzle organizer. I ended up buying this from a teacher store. It's like honestly from Melissa and Doug. They actually make them. So you can buy it on Amazon as well. All my puzzles here. Like it's so easy to just pull out during table time and just slide it right, right back in. For those puzzles that don't fit, I put them on the side here. What I do with this here is that I label it, so the letter H, and then I store the pieces in a Ziploc bag in a bin. That way it's uh, easier to access and they don't get lost. So right here I do have uh, a few books. These are my main books that um, I store um, here and they're easy to access. So I have winter, winter books, fall books, spring and summer, miscellaneous. Uh, these are just random books that we have. And some random books that we just take out like sometimes. And then we have some coloring books here. So like this is also another great way to keep them busy. So we just grab a few sheets from the coloring book and then they can just they can just color like 10-15 minutes before mom and dad pick up. Now right here is pretty much where I keep all my curriculum. So from January all the way to December, it's easy. You know, the teachers just pretty much pull it out, take out the sheets that they need to. They make photocopies, whether if it's eight kids, 10 kids, and they're ready to go. So it's easy to access. So right here, I have some games, some bean bags with letters on them. So sometimes we just lay them all out and then the kids, um, we just tell them like, oh, where are the yellow bean bags? And then they go and they pick up all the yellow ones. Um, if they get them right, then we get them a sticker, they get rewarded. So it's fun, it's entertaining. Uh, puzzle pieces, these are the puzzle pieces I was telling you about. They're organized, they have a spot, and they're labeled. Uh, now we also do sensory blocks, so we have these. The kids love these, we take them out once in a while. Uh, the snap togethers, so they sell them on Amazon. You can find them at like Mastermind Toys too, where you have the snap together alligators, or um, you can find them at Walmart too. Like there's different types. Uh, wooden blocks down below and we also have the family counter so we do have an activity depending on the theme I think we do have like um, all about me theme and uh, we take these out so that they can match a red mat or a red house they can put all the red family members on the red house now right over here we have our office supplies and miscellaneous so this is like for my bulletin board ink or if I have like pencils and pens staples all of that goes in here this is pretty much for us teachers to use I also do have dot markers glue there's paint here I have paint here on the side I also do have paint brushes here in the paint trays now right here I have a few things here that I can actually use for uh, my sensory bins Recycled materials, sparkles. I need to fill that up because it looks pretty empty. So I need to buy more sparkles. I have some stickers. So these are things that like stickers I use like to, to reward, like if they go to the potty or if we have an activity that requires stickers, um, we have stickers that, um, that are there for whenever we need them. Cotton balls for like arts and crafts. And we have some more coloring books down below. So electronics is like pretty much all my boxes for like my ring doorbell, my cameras, things like that. Bubbles, so uh, depending on the theme, sometimes you go outside and blow bubbles or for summertime, uh, for fine motor skills, usually buy the big ones at, at Michael's. Manipulative, so, so I have their um, books in here. Just some random stuff that I couldn't find like a spot for. I just put it in there to be honest. And right here I have some pom-poms for arts and crafts, pipe cleaners, assorted crafts. Um, they're just like a bunch of random like pieces. And uh, tape, so tape, always good to have. Straws for activities and markers. So definitely need to buy more markers and sparkles. But, but these bins, I ended up buying them at um, Dollarama. The Dollar Tree close to me didn't have a bin that looked like this. I was looking for a particular bin, so I was able to find this at Dollar Tree. It was literally only $2 a piece, so pretty affordable compared to like Walmart prices. And I also even found a big one 
this big bin and it was four dollars each so not bad like i'm actually impressed like it's a pretty good size it's a decent size and i can fit another bin up here another one of these up here if i wanted to but um yeah this bookshelf is actually uh the billy bookshelf from ikea so i was able to organize it sorry guys if you hear my kids like they're here with me they're watching a movie they're probably like just don't mind them i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah i got uh, two billy bookshelves put them next to each other and honestly i love it there's a place for everything so we're gonna move on to the welcome board for the staff this is a desk i was talking about so this desk here i bought it from ikea and i'm gonna link it down below i ended up finding this at dollar tree so no bad days it's a good day to have a good day and you can switch up the dates so i have it set up for monday actually i have to change that it's not the 16th anyways <laughs> sorry um it's cool to be kind and then i have a oil diffuser staff schedule uh, the weekly planner so every day there's something that the teachers need to do for me on wednesdays i get started on the menu and order the groceries so that they get delivered on fridays you're heading home we charge the batteries and we check for like diapers and wipes. That way parents are well aware of what's needed for the upcoming week. And then I just write, you can pretty much write anything here, but I ended up putting this here because uh, sometimes we need to like remind teachers, especially if there's like a morning teacher and an afternoon teacher, maybe we need to write a note here to let the afternoon teacher know if there's uh, another family member picking up a child or like something important that um, they need to know can be written on this board. So I just put, thank you for all your hard work. Y'all are amazing. I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes. And uh, oh my gosh, I love this. So I ended up buying this off of Amazon. Like I told you, I like to decorate for parties. I like to give my kids a gift for their birthday that they get to open at home. And this here, I ended up finding on Amazon. And oh my gosh, I love how it's organized. Everything has a spot, like my wrapping paper, all my ribbons and like cards for like the holidays or birthdays. Now behind here, you're gonna see like, I have some gift bags and some tissue. I, if you're a person like me that like loves buying gifts or like gives gifts for Christmas, this is a must have. You can literally hang this anywhere. You can hang it on the door, but I ended up like hooking it onto the shelf and it's fine. So yeah, I love it. I will link it down below for you guys. Now here I have a tray. So a tray with like our staff task schedule so every teacher has a duty has a responsibility and here you'll be able to see like for example breakfast who's gonna prep breakfast who's gonna prep lunch who's going to prep the afternoon snack and it has a time there and then every morning we just uh, make sure we pop the names in of all the teachers and the responsibilities that's something I did on my own and this is a cart from Recollections. I believe it's from Recollections. And I bought it at Michael's. I think you can also buy it off of Amazon, but I bought mine from Michael's. Pretty affordable, I'll link it down below. And um, I ended up using my Cricut Maker and I labeled it. So Monday through Sunday, because we're open Monday through Sunday, I have all the days of the week. And then at the bottom there, you see that I have lesson plans, circle time, and books. And sort it out for the teachers. That way they're not wasting time looking for the activity, um, making copies. Like, literally, within the 10 minutes that, they're, that they spend printing things out or looking for things and printing it out, they can be spending that time with the kids already and spending more time doing an activity with them. This is a great way to save some time and instead of them um, wasting 10 minutes looking for the activity making copies your copies are already made for you so this is something i would do on a wednesday when i'm 
making the menu and um, meal planning for the upcoming week I would just print all of the activities for them so it's ready to go like I mentioned I'm only here three days out of the week so the other two days the teachers uh, I like to make sure that my teachers are fully prepped and have everything ready to go on the days that I'm not here just to help make it a little bit easier for them now lesson plans we're currently learning about the color brown point to the the square so the shape that we're learning about is square and this is the teacher lesson plan so this you can buy on TPT from uh, Clubhouse Kids I also do have this book here so movement and activities depending on the letter there's some movement that the kids can do um, it's a great add-on for like morning activities and circle time so this is circle time so here I have all of our flashcards our number flashcards our feeling flashcards so sometimes we pull this flashcard and we ask okay so what is this little girl feeling in this picture and we just talk about what this little girl is feeling and if they can relate to it so it's a great way for them to interact and for them to express themselves these are the brown flashcards and we have weather songs it's also part of the clubhouse uh, kids curriculum and then I just keep all the books here uh, for the entire month depending on the theme so we're in fall so all my fall books are in here and they're ready to go for circle time okay guys so let me know in the comments down below what you think and what you're going to tackle next if it's going to be your own home daycare office i do have another project after this i will have more videos um that i will be posting in regards to meal planning and um newsletters and calendars so if you're interested in all that stuff then stay tuned i'll be posting shortly Okay guys, so I was able to show you how I organized and decluttered my daycare office. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm actually very excited to show my teachers and I'm happy with how it turned out. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also click on the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video is out. It truly helps me grow the channel. So uh, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't already, please check out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.